Good idea. That's a big help. All right, we're going to get a check of the forecast now with Rochelle. Hey, we didn't have to deal with any rain this weekend, but it was so cold out there. You no, know, it was chilly. <laughs> I was born in the middle of summer, so for me it was cold. Some of you are definitely enjoying this, but this is what you would expect. This kind of conditions, this is what you'd expect for the early to middle part of January. It's quiet out there this weekend, so we did have a quiet weekend, which was definitely welcome news. Things aren't looking too busy out there on the Jordan Bridge right now. Camera's not shaking too much. We don't have too much wind to talk about either, but a lot of that wind is coming out of a somewhat northerly direction. Some of them coming out of the northeast and some of the winds coming out of the northwest. If you're up towards the eastern shore, it's 36 in Melfa, 38 at Wallops, 35 right now in Franklin, 39 in Hertford, 40 in Smithfield, 43 Williamsburg, and also for our friends in Portsmouth, 44 in Duck, 39 in Elizabeth City, KDH, and also for our neighbors in Matthews as well. Not much to talk about on satellite and radar. I've been saying that all weekend. It is quiet out there. We have high pressure in control. And if you like quiet weather, you like getting outside without any weather inhibitions, no wind or anything like that. Generally, for the most part, you'll be looking towards high pressure and that's going to be controlling our weather pattern for a good portion of the day tomorrow as well. So as we move through the evening hours, here's what you can expect. Temperatures continuing to get down into the 30s. If you're not ready into the 30s already clear and cool, so those temperatures will continue to cool down overnight. So here's what we're expecting as we move into tomorrow morning, waking up near or below freezing for many locations across south side, maybe even some mid 20s as we look back towards I-95. We're looking at low 30s, some upper 20s along the eastern shore, and a similar story as we look towards our friends on the peninsulas and up towards the northern neck as well. Mid to upper 30s for the outer banks as you're waking up tomorrow morning. We're going to have some mid 20s to some low 30s north of the Albemarle. Clear skies overhead means you'll be able to see that waning crescent moon for tonight, but you'll have to wait until early tomorrow morning to see it because that's when the moon is going to rise. Uh, I think about 5 or so a.m. that moon rises. As we look towards the region tomorrow, 49 in Hampton, 51 in Norfolk, 40, 50 degrees in Virginia Beach, 48 for the Outer Banks, 51 in Williamsburg. So generally right around 50 degrees, which is above average for this time of year. Taking the dogs out tomorrow, not looking too bad, but I want to bring something to your attention with this. Yes, we have green paws across the board, but we'll also have increasing clouds moving through the day tomorrow. Let's jump into future cast by 8 a.m. We are seeing those clouds out there. Winds not too bad, but if you're seeing there Tuesday 12 a.m. We started this in the afternoon on uh, tomorrow. A couple of showers down there and Futurecast is keeping the bulk of the showers, which really isn't even that much down into our southern zone. So if you live a little farther south, closer to that North Carolina line or into North Carolina, you'll have the better chance of seeing showers for tomorrow night into Tuesday. But even then, our shower chances over the next three days are going to stay very, very low. Not expecting much at all. Again, confined down into our extreme southern zones. Seven day forecast does show that dry weather continues as we head toward the middle part of the week and then even into the later part of the week. We won't have to talk about showers until late on Friday, but you're also seeing Friday day looking pretty warm. Not too shabby of a day as we round off the week head into next weekend, which for some of you is a long weekend, but we're going to have to watch the chances for some showers Friday night into Saturday along with a cool down.